How's it going, everyone? Saints fan back again with another episode of GT Online. Did you know? And today, yes, some of you guys may know these locations if you're veterans of the game, if you're older GT Online players. However, I feel like there's a decent amount of people out there who are new to the game that don't know about some of these. Like maybe there's one or two that are kind of wide known, but some of these I, I think a lot of people don't know about. And they're actually really cool. I mean, the locations aren't gonna be locations you spend tons of time in, but a lot of these locations are really nice locations to go hide from someone. And I believe pretty much all of them will stop the orbital strike. I'm not entirely sure because it costs a lot of money to test the orbital strike, but all of these do have roofs or covers or whatever on them. So I'm, I'm pretty sure you'll be safe. But if anyone wants to uh, confirm that or deny that, you can let us know in the comment section. These really are no in particular order. The first one I want to show you guys is actually three locations inside of the airport, LSIA. And these three locations are in three different buildings. The first one is actually further back, kind of towards the ocean. If you just, if you're flying around, you'll see one of the buildings actually has stairs that lead to doors. And if you're just driving past it, flying past it, you may think, all right, you know, this game doesn't really have interiors. There's no way that goes anywhere, but it actually does. It goes inside of the building and then there's a little hallway that you can go into. And there's actually some NPCs here, but there are two little soda machines there. And there's also an entrance to the roof, which is kind of cool. Yeah, again, this isn't like an area you're going to spend a ton of time, but if you want to hide from someone or if you want to just hide from one of your friends, they're probably never going to know what to look inside of there. And we have something similar in the building closer to the street. So if you're by it where the helicopters tend to spawn, you'll see there's also two giant staircases and both of these go inside of the building. And it's actually kind of cool you can get to the roof in a very easy manner. You just gotta climb up a lot of steps. So the one on the right is a little smaller as far as the interior goes. You just go up and around some stairs and you go to the roof. And by the way, of course, some guy just has to kill me out of nowhere. Minding my own freaking business. That's what's wrong with players in GTA. But the other location is on the other side. And this one actually has a really long little hallway inside of it but you go up the stairs you know you go inside you go down it go around and up and then you're back out to the roof so those two little places are kind of cool again if you want to hide or if you just want to get to that roof in a way that doesn't involve a helicopter and then the other one probably the coolest one the one that i think a lot of people don't know about because like they never you never seem to check is actually in the hangar that's sort of right next to it. It's where the Luxors spawn. It's where a lot of people do, at least where I did a lot of car shows at. But if you take a left, as soon as you get inside, you'll go down the hallway and you can actually go through a couple of doors. And again, this one has the, the soda machines at some point. But the coolest part about this is it actually goes outside. So you can actually get into this warehouse from outside, which is kind of cool. I think that's probably the cooler part about this like if you don't want to go all the way around or if you're on foot and you you just want to go you may take a little shortcut you go straight through that little door and straight in kind of cool the next location is actually one that i kind of knew about but i really didn't know where exactly it was at. I, I just i've played certain team death matches and stuff in this little warehouse but i never realized it was in this location so where we're going is actually Meriwether's docks. And yeah, there's the, the giant Meriwether warehouse that you can explore. There's some really cool little nooks and crannies in it. But the one I want to take a look at and show you guys is not actually inside of that warehouse, but it's actually connected outside. So if you're looking at the gate that, you know, opens up to let you in, you just go right around the corner and there's a door. And the coolest part about this little warehouse is that there's only one entrance. There's actually a ton of cover in here too. There's a ton of little walls or whatever you want to call it. But the best part is if you have a bounty on you, if people are coming after you, you go here, they can only come in that one door so you can defend yourself pretty dang easily. Just know though, it's kind of a maze in here. 
Like it took me a minute or two to get back out because you kind of you kind of get lost with all the walls. You can jump over them, which is very convenient. But yeah, that's a really cool location. I thought uh, a lot of people might not know about the third location. Now this one, again, some of the old timers might know about, but the mountain cave. There's actually a secret sort of hidden mountain cave in the map, kind of in between the city and Fort Zancudo. The way you can actually find it, it's super easy. If you look on the map, you, you're on the left hand side, you follow that like main highway, and then you find this little river. And basically, you just go straight up the river. I mean, you can see it's very easy to, to locate the location of it. Like, and then you just go up the river, and then on your right, you'll see what looks to be an opening in the mountain. And that's the little cave. And this is a fantastic little location. It's kind of blocked by some trees and some bushes there. And it kind of just blends in. Like if you're just flying past this, you might not ever notice it because it kind of just blends in with the mountain. But it's a little cave here, little uh, indention that you can drive in. You can actually fit cars and stuff in there. And it's just cool to hang out. Again, like I said at the beginning, I'm pretty sure a lot of these locations are orbital cannon safe because I mean, you're in a mountain here, so you would think it wouldn't be able to kill you. But that's a fun little location just to hide out in. The fourth location is something I feel like a lot of people just forget about. And in my opinion, it's 100% the coolest location in the game. The secret hidden abandoned mine shaft. A lot of people might know this is actually in the game, but they see it all boarded up and they think like everything else in the game, oh, okay, well, it's cool, but probably can't blow that up and get inside. Well, that's where you're wrong. You can if you throw some sticky bombs or, you know, throw some grenades at it or whatever, rockets, it'll blow up and you can go inside. And it's actually a pretty extensive little system. There's a couple of different twists and turns, a couple of different routes you can go. Kind of creepy, honestly, especially if you have your lights off. But this is an awesome little place to go hide out in. Just know you kind of are trapped in here because there is only that one entrance. So if someone knows you're in here, then... They obviously will just wait at the entrance. But one cool thing that may trick people is if you go far, far enough in and there's no one outside, once you blow up the thing just the way GTA works, it'll actually respawn. And people may think there's no way someone's in the mine because the entrance hasn't been blown up. So you can basically stay hidden in here. And they may not ever expect, they may think you're a modder because you're on the map in this location, but you're not there for them. So it's kind of cool uh, in that aspect. And then the final location, this is probably the, the one I think maybe a lot of people know about, but it doesn't get the love it deserves because it's on the right hand side of the map. And I've always said the right hand side of the map just is kind of uh, boring, I guess. Like there's just not a lot of people go over there. Granted, there's not a lot of stuff to do, but the hidden giant cave on the water. You find the factory, it's basically right by it. I mean, it's hard to miss, but it's a really cool, awesome cave that you can go inside. You can swim around in there. You can, you know, drive some boats. I think the plane that floats on water, I'm totally blanking on the name. I believe it spawns in there. That's one of the spawn locations. Again, I believe this also will protect you from a lot of stuff because you're basically under rocks. So definitely check out that location and check out all these locations if you have yet to do so. Like I said, if you're ever in the area, if people are coming after you, go into one of these locations and I'm willing to bet a lot of the tryhards like that are on Oppressor Mark II's, they don't know about these locations because let's be honest, they're not the smartest... Uh, smartest people in the game they just like to use overpowered stuff to kill people so you can totally make them look like a bunch of fools if you want anyway there you guys have it that is today's episode of g10 line did you know hopefully you didn't know about some of this stuff again if you're an older player yeah this video may not have been for you but if you're a newer player hopefully you learned some stuff thank you all for watching please drop the video like if you did enjoy subscribe for awesome gta content and as always i'll see you guys in the next one